This is the 41st year of Lab Professionals Week. It's a week when over 300,000 lab professionals celebrate their craft and are recognized for the hard work that is done behind the scenes. The goal of this Lab Week is to recognize uh, the laboratory professionals and to uh, celebrate their professionalism and also to educate the people or the public about the profession because we are the people who work behind the scenes. We are not in the direct contact with the patient. LSUA offers two lab programs, including Clinical Laboratory Technician, which is a two-year program, and Medical Laboratory Technician, which can be completed in four years. Kumar says a benefit of entering this field is that finding a job upon graduation is almost certain. Once you are in your clinical rotation, I can almost guarantee you that you will have a job because there is such a shortage of the laboratory personnel across the nation and it has been um, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, there is actually 17% uh, growth in the job. Jeremy Laborde, who completed the program at LSUA and is now a clinical lab tech at Cabrini, says the program has run extremely well and properly equipped him for a job in the field. He adds that he would definitely recommend the program to others. It's microbiology, chemistry, hematology, urinalysis. Uh, we got a lot of hands-on experience with, uh, with actual patient samples um, that was invaluable once we actually got to our clinical location. I would recommend the LSUA program to anyone uh, who's interested in the lab itself or uh, you know, just working in a hospital. To coincide with this event and get high school students interested, there will also be a program on campus this summer for men only to introduce them to allied health and nursing programs. This program is designed to attract more, more male in, in the healthcare profession because we see uh, across the nation in the hospitals everywhere we go, it's all female dominated. So we're trying to get more males into the profession. Bennett Rowland Jr., ABC 31 News.